The six suspects, made up of two men and four women, were arrested on Wednesday afternoon from two separate houses in Kandiga by the Upper East Regional Police Command upon acting on intelligence. Two pump action firearms, over 500 ammunition, and an undisclosed amount of money was retrieved from the suspects. According to the police, the illegal assembly of the firearms and ammunition was for reprisal attacks. Speaking to City News at a press briefing in Bogatanga, Upper East Regional Police Commander DCOP Dr. Shaibu Gariba said the suspects will be put before court for possession of firearms without authority. He added that police were also on a manhunt for two landlords whose houses were used for harboring the illegal firearms and ammunition. We searched a number of houses at two different locations in the county area. Those houses came out with some fundamental security breaches. And those security breaches involved the accumulation or amassing of arms and ammunition. For one of the houses, we discovered two pump action guns and then a quantity of um, ammunition. In the other two, we discovered ammunition of over 500 rounds of AK-47. In all these cases, we have some suspects that have been arrested numbering about six of them. They are all in custody at the regional police headquarters. The regional CID is handling this. Again, the owners of those houses where we, we retrieve the AK ammunition and also some pump action guns have, are currently at large and we are tracing them. We have been able to narrow down on them we have noted that they are teachers, we have pursued them to their various schools, and we are currently doing everything to ensure that they are arrested. DCOP Gariba appealed to the people of the region to seek legal redress of disputes in courts, adding that the police has resolved to deal ruthlessly with persons harboring contrabands with the aim to destabilize the peace in the region. The Upper East Regional Police Command say it is bent on reducing or eliminating crime in the Upper East Region. However, it appealed to the general public to volunteer sensitive information that would lead to the arrest of perpetrators of crime. Reporting from the police headquarters here in Bogatanga, I'm Frederick Awuni for City News.